Practical SQLs of 2012 Administration and Programming Select Statement Hierarchy ID and Metadata Functions Well, in the olden days what we used to do is uh, self-referencing to build a hierarchy. So in AdventureWorks 2005 the employee table was self-referencing, the manager ID, as FK was referencing itself, the employee ID. So for each employee we had the manager ID. And uh, that is sufficient uh, for building a hierarchy, but there is a better way, and the better way is hierarchy ID, in fact, if we go back even further to Northwind, we can see the employees table, the columns, and we see a reports to FK. So the employee ID and the reports to, again self-referencing, that's the manager. The new way of doing it, on the other hand, is hierarchy ID. And this is the hierarchy ID, organizational node. Ken Sanchez is 0x. And this is the organizational level. It goes down to 4. And that's actually three bytes. And let's check out a few of the IDs. Execute. So this is Vice President of Engineering. This is Engineering Manager. So let's do it query by query so we don't get confused. These are all the people managers reporting to Ken Sanchez 0x. Vice President of Engineering, Marketing Manager, Vice President of Production, Chief Financial Officer, Information Services Manager, Vice President of Sales. And out of this, Vice President of Engineering. So let's see who is reporting to Vice President of Engineering. So this is VP of Engineering. execute and the engineering manager and this one is different nobody is reporting to this person And we have production supervisors reporting to this person. In the following query, we are selecting a particular person. And this is product control manager. Some more information. Peter Krabs. directly report to script indirectly report to we are not seeing very user-friendly reports yet because we are just working with uh, 
basic functions, but we are coming to a neater report when we can really see the organization and chart of the company indirectly report eleven rows and this is a fourth level. And there is nobody at the fourth level. Let's run the following query for node zero x eighty four. Since we joined in the person dot person table, we should be an inner join. and save. We can see the names, so the report is becoming more meaningful, and this is the job title. So we get all the people who report to 0x84, first, second, and third level, so this is directly and indirectly, and this is the list. So this is 84, and this is one byte, and this is two bytes, dialect report, and this is three bytes. How can we find the CEO? That should be Ken Sanchez. Indeed, that's Ken Sanchez. And the top level executives, Reporting to Ken Sanchez, this is the list. Get ancestor function, example, ancestor in this case is uh, a superior or manager. Finally, we arrive to a nice organizational chart. This is how the query looks. It's not a simple query, but it gives very nice results. Execute. And we see now the organizational chart of uh, adventure work cycles. Ken Sanchez is the CEO. Manager level zero, and Terry Duffy reports to Ken Sanchez. Also, David Bradley reports to Ken Sanchez. And when we see, this is uh, the people reporting to Terry Duffy. And we can scroll down on the list. It's very interesting. So the entire organization should be here. 289. And the reason is that Ken Sanchez is not listed as an employee. He's only listed as a manager. That's Ken Sanchez is missing because there are 290 employees. Setting the database context to Adventure Works, where we have a self referencing table as uh, defining the organization structure, we can use a left join. And this is the result. One oh nine was in the original adventure works. One oh nine is Ken Sanchez.
and here the entire organization 290 people is listed let's consider metadata functions object name vis-a-vis -vis objects name type u u stands for user stable sys databases and let's select database id 14 and get the database name and this is the name of the database a schema id for production schema name purchasing object property we can create a synonym employee for human resource employee so we don't have to write the long name let's do it and then we can just select from employee as if it would be the table let's check object property it's a uh, employee is user table and then drop the synonym synonym may be beneficial in um, achieving a better um, organization of a database uh, project since we are dealing with so many environments such as uh, production QA development replication site standby so there are opportunities for automation and uh, synonyms may be helpful in such an undertaking recapping the hierarchy ID new data type new to SQL Server 2008 is extremely powerful way of uh, managing hierarchical data we can see the list of um, associated hierarchical functions get root get descendant is descendant get level get ancestor get reparented value and to string so we can do powerful tree processing using SQL Server 2012 the recursive part of SQL Server 2012 is the recursive CTE which uses union all in the recursion this is the end of the unit